What's up everyone? Today is going to be a bit different. I've got here our two-person deluxe 72 hour kit and I'm going to head into Calgary today to see how easily and quickly I can grab everything in this kit and what it'll cost me. Let's start a timer and let's get to it. Before I head out, I'm going to use the list that's in the kit to go online and find some stores that might sell what I'm looking for and build a plan. So I've made a list of some outdoor stores, grocery stores, places like that. We're now about 18 minutes in, let's head out and see what we can find. All right. First place I'm gonna head is to a sporting goods store to try and find a bag to put this in. We want something that's vibrant, colorful, and easy to see, so that if you're in an emergency, you can grab it and you're good to go. Just arrived at the sporting goods store. It's minus 19 today. So I've just stumbled across some hand warmers, so I think I'm gonna get these. There's only one warmer per pack, so I'm gonna get six of these. That's the first thing down. That was six hand warmers, and that was about $16. Back to the bag hunt. Something visible, medium sized. I've managed to find a travel duffel bag. This is about $23, it's visible, and it's similar size to our ones. Let's go hit up an outdoor store and see what else we can find. I'm just arriving now to the largest outdoor store I know of in Calgary. I'm hoping they sell pretty much everything I'm looking for. We're about two hours in to grabbing everything so far. I'm going to start by finding a lot of the smaller items like 36 hour candles, things like that. Camping area seems like a good start. I've came across a lot of the little things we need, so I will show you them. There's this one, it's kind of heavy, but I think it'll have to do. I've managed to find some emergency blankets, not emergency bags, so they're not gonna keep them as warm, but I'm gonna hold on to these for now, because this might be the best I can find. Okay, this one's eight in one, so let's go with this one for now. I found a few items, but I thought I'd find a lot more than I have. I've asked some people as well, and they just don't stock a lot of the things I'm looking for. They don't stock any emergency food rations, 36 hour candles or camp heat, camping stoves. They just have the really big ones. I'm going to need to actually head somewhere else. Okay, I think we're at $145. Also, we've got some cord, two emergency blankets. They didn't have any emergency bags. Some soap, two light sticks two ponchos, an eight-in-one pocket tool, a whistle, a first aid kit, a shovel. What we still need to find, food rations, water rations, 36-hour candle, and waterproof matches, mirror, water purification tablet, fold-up camp stove, camp heat and leather gloves, N95 respirator masks, two-person tube tent, dynamo flashlight, insta-fire fuel and fire starter, two rest stops, still a way to go we're maybe about halfway we've been going for three hours 20 minutes i'm at my next place so i was about to leave the store thinking i couldn't find anything but i did just come across a solar powered dynamo crank ball flashlight that can charge a phone that's one of the harder things down surprisingly and i found some leather gloves that was another 42 dollars so we're now at 185 dollars Three hours, 45 minutes in. There's another outdoor store just across the road, so I'm gonna head there next. You'd think the camping stuff would be a really easy thing to find. Just came across a 36 hour survival candle. Same company, different store. They've actually got a lot more of what I'm looking for. Tube tent. I have found some camp heat. And a mirror. I've actually just found some emergency bags. These are much better than the emergency blanket, so I will return them to the other store. The only set of waterproof matches I can find is a four pack, but they are only four dollars. They've also actually got some Instafire fire starters. That was another seventy dollars. I'm pretty sure we're over budget now, at around two hundred and fifty dollars. I can't believe I've still not found any food rations or water rations. A fold-up camp stove and some water purification tablets. Still not found them anywhere. I've just found the trail up we have it in our kit, so I'm gonna get one of these. I'm gonna return the foldable shovel and I'll take that price off. That's two rest stops. 
We're still looking for some water rations and some food rations. I've not managed to find an equivalent folding camp stove. And some N95 masks. I have no idea where I'm gonna find them. I've been looking around for five hours, 20 minutes now. The best I've managed to find are your snack bars, beef jerky, all expire quite quickly and are not suitable for a 72 hour kit that you're hoping to never use and not have to check for years. I'm gonna head home and see where we're at on the budget. Couple more bits, but that was another $30. I'm back. I was out for six hours. This is the kit I've got versus our one that's pre-made here. This cost me $268.05. That is from visiting six stores, $30 in returns, and $9 in fuel for the day. It's missing four key items. It's missing food rations and water rations, an N95 respiratory mask, and a fold-up camp stove. For food, the only substitutes I could find was beef jerky, power bars, or freeze-dried meals. No, I stocked any food rations, and those snacks have a really short shelf life. You could use freeze-dried meals, but they'd be around five times the cost for the equivalent calorie count. Plus, you'd then need to add additional water and equipment to boil it. But nowhere stocks any water rations at all. Campfire stove, I couldn't find any similar to the one that we stock in our kit. There are two kits. Ours is $219.95, not including GST. Comes with free shipping, so I think ours is a pretty good deal. All the products are pretty like for like. Go grab one of ours. 